Hi friends, welcome back to MX Decor. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I am going to share with you most beautiful and eye-catching front yard and back yard landscaping design ideas with 7 landscape design tips for beginners. Now get right into the video. Follow our beginner friendly gardening landscaping tips to turn your yard into a blooming paradise and get advice for personalizing your outdoor space. If you have never tried your hand at designing a landscape before, you might find all choices you can make a bit overwhelming. Which plants do you want to include and where should they go? Should bed lines and path curves or run in a straight line? And what about accessories such as stylish fences, eye-catching planters and bar bird baths to attract colorful wildlife? It can help to think of a space in your yard as you would a room inside your home. Because many of the same principles that guide your room setup inside can guide your design outside too. Here are 7 considerations that will help get your new landscaping project off to a super start. The first one is determine landscape needs and wants. Make a list of needs and wants. Do your kids need a play space? Do you want to grow vegetables? Would your family enjoy a gathering on a patio? Do some very rough sketches of the yard with thoughts of where you want to place things. It's a great organizing principle for landscape design for beginners. You can easily play around with ideas without a lot of time and commitment. Second one is think about location. Study the sun and wind patterns. You might want to place a patio on the west side of the house, but it will get lots of afternoon sun. Which means dinner time in August could be unpleasantly hot and wind whistling around a corner will quickly vanish a fire pit. Those are common mistakes in backyard landscape design for beginners. Your design should take into account what the sun and wind do at different times of the day and year. Third one is spend time in your landscape. Coming to quick conclusions about your yard can lead to choices that don't work in the long term. Live with it for a while before making any changes. After spending more time outdoors, you will start to see areas where you want to go and sit that you would not have thought of at first. Fourth one is start small. Sure, complete outdoor makeovers can happen in just three days on your favorite home and garden show, but they have a huge crew to handle the heavy lifting which is not a situation enjoyed by most beginners home gardeners. Part of creating a landscape you will love is slowly developing a plan and enjoying the process. From your master plan, start with a small flower bed. Go out and work on it for an hour or two when you have the time and worry less about filling everything up right away. We know that when, we, when you take your time with your dial landscape design, you are less likely to get sloppy or resort to shortcuts you will regret later. Fifth one is find a focal point. 
Any good garden design has a focal point or series of a focal points and it's an easy principle to put in place that may be a sculpture or stunning tree or a series of sculpts. Let the design draw your eyes around the landscape. Sixth one is focus on scale and pacing. It's the trickiest principle in landscape design for beginners. But scale and pacing give your yard a pull together look. There will be various in size, shape and color with tall plants against a building or in the back of a flower bed and paths that lead people through the space. He emphasizes the importance of finding a good balance between repetition and new elements. Repetition gives a sense of cohesion but you also don't want it to be monotonous. An occasional new element is better than having all different elements throughout. Now the seventh and the last one is be open to change. Unless you are strongly devoted to something, be honest about what's working for you and what's not in your design. Even we have found ourselves discovering elements we once liked that no longer reflect our taste, our style. It's okay to experiment and edit as you go. Diary of a First Time Gardener Tackling a Front Yard Makeover Remember, patience is key to landscape design for beginners. If all of that bare space is too much to look at and the kids and dogs are trickling in mud or rely on temporary solutions, for example, plunking down some anvils, mulch and fast-growing ground covers to cover an area while you are figuring out what you want. We also recommend using anvils and small perennials around larger plants that need time to grow and fill in. You can always dig them up and move them somewhere else if you realize they are in the wrong spot later on. Please mention in the comment, was this video is helpful for you? I hope this video is very helpful in your front yard and backyard landscaping design selection. If you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.